What's up guys, Polly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about if I've used a Ranger on the Ranger mode. So I'm going to show you through this one time. Okay, I'm not going to do any more tutorials. 2025, I'm not going to do any tutorials. But check this out. And the reason is because I feel like you guys are... You need to figure some of this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? But this is... This will set you on your way. So all, all we're going to do, we're going to go to Browse. I'm going to get this acoustic kit, one of these. I like this one. And let's say you have five or six different kits. If not, you're just starting, do you like this? I'm just going to go ahead and get this acoustic kit in here. It says it's on track one. We're all good. Let's see if we hit play, what happens? Cool, we got ourselves a little bitty track there. Uh, what I'm going to do is the pencil here, because if I go to a ranger right now, it's all on one track. So I want these all split up. And let's say, I'll show you here, watch. Just hit the pencil, go to explode. Now when we go to the arranger, it's going to have it all on separate tracks. It should, anyway. And after we do this, we'll copy this sequence, and I'll show you guys how to arrange it. See, we got everything right there. Cool. Now let's say you got plugins and everything like that. Each track's different. But what we want to do is we're going to copy this sequence four times. Copy one to two. We're going to copy two to three. It doesn't matter as long as you copy the sequence. You can even copy sequence one or two to four. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. I recommend making all your beats on the first eight bars. That's why I did eight bar beats for a while there because you do it in eight bars and then you can just go through here like this. Check this out. So we're on sequence four. I'm going to go to browse or I'm sorry, menu arranger. Now through each one of these, you have to select these like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know how to just touch a pad and select these. But what's dope is on the MPC X or SE, you can just hit erase. And you do it. And it's erased. I don't know if this works for audio tracks as well, but I'm going to do a video on that. If you don't have an X and you don't have an erase button, and you're hitting play and you're like, I don't know what I want to play. Let's say we want this. Edit. Erase. Do it. That's it. So that's going to be this sequence. That's sequence four. I go to sequence three, it's going to bring it all back. And the point is, when you're on this editor here, when you're on this arranger, it it's going to keep all the data. So when you delete it per sequence on here, on the grid, it's, it's on the grid. So you got to delete the data on the grid. If not, it's just going to affect every single sequence the same way. When you mute out pad 1, it's going to mute out pad 1 throughout all your sequences, no matter if you do it on sequence 5 or 1. So now at least we got sequence this. So now go to sequence 3, menu. And instead of hitting track mute and just going through the sequences, this doesn't work. This is what I'm saying. See, you go through the different sequences and it keeps them. We don't want that. Uh, so all we're doing, we'll go to here, menu, arrange, and brought them all up again. You hit erase, do it. This one here, erase, do it. Of course, I would listen to it, but for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you how to erase and do it. Okay. So these should sound a little bit different. You can hit play. I'm not really making a song. I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay. So now we got that. And all we're doing, we just went to one sequence, copied it. But you have to, instead of mute out the parts in your track mute, you have to go to your menu and do it in the arranger. And go through here, acoustic kit, blah, 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 erase. Do it. Go here. It'd be cool if I can use the up and down buttons to go and do this. It'd be so much faster. But I'm able to actually talk through this and, and do this pretty quickly here. So we got this, this, that, and let's say this is a keyboard, that's a guitar, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using drums as an example, but apparently 
when you add audio tracks in here and everything like that, you should be able to do this the same, which I would be very excited about because you used to not just be able to erase. It's going to help with live musicians who want to do audio tracks into here to be able to arrange their whole thing. I'll show you. So to tie all this together, we're going to hit menu and go into song. I'm going to insert our four sequences. Two, three, and I don't even know if we did four. But if we do five and six, we're going to do like this. Okay, so now I'm going to convert to sequence five. Hit do it. Now when I hit main and I go to sequence five and I hit my menu and my arranger, smash that down. You see how I have blank sequences in between? You see that? I want to show you guys how to get rid of that. Because what's going to happen is you're going to play your song and it's just going to, it's going to be quiet in here and I don't know a way to, to do that. So what we got to do is go back. I want to show you how to fix that. We're going to go into sequence one. We got it for four bars, two, three, four bars. But whenever you go into your grid editor or your arranger, you have to make sure that it's set for four bars on each one because right now it's probably set for like eight and you're getting different spots. So let's go ahead and go back into each one of these and make sure that they're set for four bars. See, this one's set for 12 bars. The one is set for four. Okay. Same with this one. Every single one of these. You go to your arranger. There's an easy way to go about doing this. So now when we go into our song mode, it was just that that was set for 12 bars. And it was... It was acting weird per sequence, so that's why it was giving us eight bars on top of the four bars we recorded, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's why when we went into sequence five and we went into the grid, it left us eight bars of quiet. Bing, bing, and four is 12. So what we want to do, now that we got these set for four bars on all of our sequences, and it's just trial and error, and it's an honest mistake, so we're going to go in here, go to the arranger. We got it set for eight bars. We want it set for four bars on every sequence. It should automatically copy that, but we're going to double check. Yeah, they're all, they're all legit. Twelve bars. We want it for four bars. Sequence two. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Start in bars twelve. Where is it moving on my... Here we go, four bars. And then we're gonna go to sequence one and make it four bars. That's why I love the X, because if there's something on the screen, you can use your Q links to move it. All right, cool, so now we're good. Let's go back into song mode here and clear all these. Insert our new sequences. Let's see, four bars, two, three, Two again, do four. I don't even think we did anything to sequence four. But the point is that they are individual. Convert to six, do it. So now that we have the correct bar length in our arranger, because it had 12 and we only made a four bar loop, that's why we were getting that space on sequence five. I'll show you one more time here. We were getting these little gaps in between. And we don't want that, so we had to make sure that it was set for four bars on each sequence. Now, sequence six is the new one we made. We go in here to Menu, Arranger, and voila. I mean, and these are just drums. Now, you can go ahead, and, and it's just a few drums. So what, we're, what, you, what my point is, is you could go through here and do the same with audio tracks. And I want to see if you can do this on my next video. I want to do just strictly audio tracks and see the waveforms. And if I can do the same like that, I think it'll look a lot prettier than just a bunch of dots. And if it works, it'll be a great thing because it's been a struggle to be able to record the um, audio tracks on here. Like we used to have to go into the new audio track and then hit the pencil 
and clear regions. You know, now if you delete the track, it does it through the whole whatever you copied. So after you copy your sequences, go through each one. Make sure your bar lengths are right. And then go to the grid. Or the arranger, I'm sorry. And select which one you want. And just hit edit, erase, per, per sequence. And then, like I said, we just went to song mode like normal. And entered our sequences the way we wanted. And if you don't like them, or if you want them to loop, you can make them change or whatever you want to do. But from here, I convert from the last. I hit convert. Hit do it. Main. Go to our new sequence. It's 24 bars now. Hit menu arranger. Shrink this bitch down. And hit play. Again, I'm Polly Popo. I hope this helped kind of lead you on the way to doing this, because I think it's dope, honestly. Same sequence. This was sequence two, sequence three, and then sequence four. And of course, you can do the same with instruments, too, if you have different instruments coming in. But my big thing is I want to... I will get on here and make a full song on here, but just to get this going, I thought it would be dope just to kind of show you that. It didn't really take too long to figure that out, but, you know, you got to work around it, and if it's not working, then kick its ass. Just get back in there and try to, try to, try to fix it. Now, I want to see why this doesn't resample. Okay, we're good. Earlier it was not. That's why I say kick its ass. Go back and redo it and try it again. Make it work. If you know it's supposed to work, because I would hit play earlier and the shit wouldn't come back up. So I think it's dope. I think it's dope. Uh, let's go back. So the resample is good. But one thing that I did notice on here that a lot of people did not uh, mention is the first thing you notice when you go into your browser is you got these clips. Let's load up a clip. Watch what it says. Okay. Restricted clip programs. You know why? Because there are no more clips. You notice that? When you go into select a new track, they got rid of the clips. But again, when you go into this arranger, you don't need no damn... Look at this. You got the whole thing right there, right? So when you go into this arranger, it's going to fire that whole clip. I mean, it's weird how they have that with no clip mode because I used to have to take my audio tracks and then loop them and, and tell them what they did. There is no, there's no clip mode. It's dope or whatever like that, right? But one thing at a time. I know that if I can record it in there but it is set for eight bars and you usually want it set for four unless you record eight bars on your fucking first thing okay i hope that helped out guys clear as mud hopefully again all we did we turned on the npc we started a brand new sequence uh, we had one drum we exploded those drums into different tracks after we exploded those drums into different tracks, we hit the pencil and we copied it four times. Copy sequence four times. Go to sequence one. Go to sequence two. Menu arrange. Go through each one of these. Listen to it, of course, and hit the edit. And then erase which we, what you don't want. And then from here you should be able to move to another sequence instead of having to hit main and then go into the next sequence but you get to work and tailor each sequence um i think it's kind of dope to be able to do that and go into your arranger again and if you hit this you can go in here and actually get nitty gritty with a lot of cool stuff okay i'm not even going to get into this stuff right here i'm turning down the volumes on on some of these um should be able to draw on here like that just to make a curve you know what i'm saying or you can just get rid of them, apparently. I don't know. 
So right on. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to get back on here and try to get some audio tracks. I got it all routed into my MPC live right now. But I will get it going in here because it's been a minute since I messed with the X. And it's handling this very well, actually. So I hope that that was informative. And let me know if you have any questions in the, in the comments. For sure. I would definitely like to help. Ha <laughs>